Ah. So I'm putting my uh, games back in their cases now, and in doing so, I had a couple of loose games. I put them loosely in here, and I was going to swap them back over. So I put the game in my mouth, like I do with like screws or something. If I'm like nailing, you know, nails, if I'm nailing something in there, I just put it in my mouth, right here, just around my lip. And I forgot that uh, Nintendo Switch games had a uh, taste to them. <laughs> so I'm going to have to deal with that now. So anyway, how are you feeling? John Riggs here. 10 great games you should check out for the Nintendo Switch. Are they great games? Well, they're, at least they're pretty good. At least they're pretty good. Uh, this game's going to make the list later on, and it's going to be your chance to win this, too. If you haven't done so yet, make sure you enter to win your very own copy of Humans Fall Flat from Super Rare Games. How super rare is it? They only made 5,000 copies of it. This is one of them, and then you... I got the other one right here for you. This one's for me. This one's for you. Still sealed. So, if you want your copy, enter the one description below. Here are 10, let's call them, pretty good games for the Nintendo Switch that you may have missed out on. Let's check them out. We're gonna start right off with Rogue Aces. Now this game, holy moly, came out of nowhere. And oh my goodness, is it fun. Arcade style here. So you're shooting around. It reminds me a little bit of a Time Pilot, the way you can kind of maneuver up and down and all around, you know, 360 angles and all that. You try the other enemies, you shoot them down. I am a huge fan of this game already. I love the presentation. I love the layers of clouds. Um, even though I was not doing too well, you can still land the plane and uh, move on to the next mission here. Definitely, uh, definitely several missions to choose from here. Uh-oh. Going into enemy territory. What's going down? Uh-oh. All right. <laughs> all, all, all attack and move. And then, oh, there's more enemies up here. Fantastic. All right. You can see the uh, damage you take by the amount of smoke coming out of your plane. Now, right now, I'm not doing too well as it is. But you can always eject yourself. And I forgot to uh, deploy my parachute. All right. So, anyway, this game, Rogue Aces, look out for it, no doubt indeed. Super, super fun game. Highly recommend it. I love Rogue Aces. Next up is Death Road to Canada, another game that I hadn't really heard of much. I had a friend who told me about it on Steam, but now it's available for the Nintendo Switch. The first thing you do is you create your character. You can do a random character and kind of maneuver from there, but you make yourself, basically, right? There are the various options and uh, various perks that you can get. And then you're in this style of game. And just looking at the graphics, like just looking at the way it looks, doesn't do it nearly as much justice as when you actually play the game yourself. Um, randomly generated, so you don't know what's behind the other door. The game doesn't even know what's behind the other door until you walk through the doors. I love the art style on this. I just love how it looks. You have to find your own weapons. Now, you always have the default just punch the guy, right? Punch the zombies. But you can find, you know two by fours you can find you know planks of wood <laughs> to help you out along your way and these zombies they're just going to keep coming after you they're going to keep coming to get you as you're playing this game death road to canada um another game that just kind of came out of nowhere for me i had to check it out just because hey i like zombies i like these retro pixel style games and then all of a sudden hey that's how, how you find great games along the way hell there you go i found something i found a weapon there we go this is going to help me out along the way too you can crash other stuff too They're just leaving piles of zombie goo on the ground um and the redder you get you can see my skin tone uh, changing color there that's me taking damage there i'm not doing too well now i should probably run but instead of running i'm gonna fight I'm gonna fight my way through this come on now it's called death row to canada not avoid the zombies I'm gonna fight these guys oh junk great i, I found junk in the trunk this next game is called Garage, and it's another game along the style of like a pixel style, darker style game for the Switch. And I just wanted to see it for myself, and it's, you know, I, I'll be honest with you, I haven't really played it a whole lot yet. Um, I'm looking forward to seeing where else it goes with the storyline of this game called Garage. Whoa, that was a lot of blood for a little rat. Um, I miss I miss games that look like this, completely straight looking down. The art style reminds me a lot of the game Loaded for PlayStation 1. And you're just trying to find out where you're going here. Look at this. Go in here, sure. Kick things over, why not? My favorite part. Oh, you can blow things up. Candy bars are apparently in everything from boxes to refrigerators and more. <laughs> and it gets, it takes a very, very turn for the dark uh, later on in this game too. So if you're looking for like a darker experience for the Nintendo Switch, you'll find this in the eShop. It's called Garage. Might want to check it out. And then from the extremely dark, 
to the extremely bright and happy-go-lucky, you have Breakfast Battle. Now, I've talked about this game a little bit before on this channel. Uh, it's a Arkanoid kind of breakout clone uh, with cool art style, awesome music, and breakfast. Combining all those into Breakfast Battle. And like Arkanoid, you just gotta, you know, defeat the blocks. You get other kind of like power-ups along the way. Instead of having lasers, you can shoot bacon. I'm okay with that. I don't know what that was. It's not, a, not an ability that will grant you entrance into the uh, X-Men Academy, but if you could shoot bacon, man, that would be uh, that would be something anyway. Now, I'm playing this game one-player mode. Best is a two-player mode. You can also use the tilt controls if that helps you. I'm just using the analog sticks for this one right here. And it's just going to keep on coming and keep on going. It's the perfect time waster. It's the perfect, like, well, I got a couple of seconds. I can't really get invested into a game right now, but I can play something just for a little bit just to keep me occupied. You know, you're waiting at the DMV or something like that. Well, at the DMV, you've got a lot of time. However, a game that you can check out is Breakfastist Battle. What about a game called Don't Die, Mr. Robot? Well, the game's title is the <laughs> explanation and the exclamation of what this game is all about. It just looked interesting. It reminded me of like a, like a classic Flash game almost, but it looked great chaotic in a very retro arcade style of game. So, Don't Die, Mr. Robot tells the story. You don't want to die. And the more you hang around, the more other things are going to start popping out at you. Uh, very Robotron-y, kind of. A little bit of Missile Command, kind of. With you, uh, when you pick up the fruit, it creates a little explosion, and that's what can kill the things, drones, well, whatever you want to call them. Don't die, Mr. Robot. It's, it's one of those games that man, nobody's talking about. So I had, you know, if no one else is talking about it, I had to check it out for myself, and I'm glad I did. Um, it's another one of those kind of games you can just pick up for a little bit and just play it for a little while. Not really put a whole lot of thought process into it, but it gets, it gets pretty hectic as far as uh, things go. Well, we got five games down and five games yet still to go. It's amazing that the Nintendo Switch has a variety of games, such bright and colorful and happy music games like Breakfast Battle, straight to like Garage, which is like super dark and mysterious, crazy stuff. Another one of my favorite features in the Nintendo eShop on the Switch is how you can play retro games. And I'm not talking about retro inspired games. I'm talking about games that we grew up with in the arcade and you don't need to have quarters for them. You just have to pay for them and you can play them as much as you want. And Johnny Turbo's Arcade has a few games that you should check out. One of them you've heard of probably for sure. One of them you may have heard of. And then another one that I'll be honest with you, I didn't even hear of it. Let's check them out. Now, first of all, Johnny Turbo looks like my friend Joe Fritz. I want to point that out first and foremost. We got Bad Dudes. Remember Bad Dudes in the arcade? Oh, they had a Nintendo port of it. They had other ports of it along the way too. Uh, but this one's cool because this is the arcade version and you can set up things like screen size or set up things like how you want your screen to look. I'm going to choose VCR mode because when I played this in the arcade, it was on a very dingy screen. So this looks exactly like the way I played Bad Dudes when I played Bad Dudes back in the day. And it plays like Bad Dudes. Imagine that. So you got your, you know, if you've ever played Bad Dudes before, it's just a side scroll and beat em up. It's a fun one. Uh, even has an appearance of Karnov. How come Karnov hasn't received it's a proper true sequel? Come on now. Karnov plays the bad guy in this game anyway. He has the same music and everything. Well, if you haven't played Bad Dudes or if you want to relive that Bad Dudes magic, make sure you pick up Bad Dudes from Johnny Turbo's Arcade. I'm bad! Yeah, you are. Another game we have is Gate of Doom. Now, this is the game I hadn't even heard of. I played Wizard Fire, which is very, very similar. But this one's called Gate of Doom. <laughs> you can choose from your characters that you want to play as, and then you get that overworld kind of gauntlet-y style, but in a 3D mode. And you kill the bad guys, and you pick up the items, and you don't die. Well, that, that pretty much covers just about every game, right? Um, I like games like this, though. Um, perfect two-player style game. Again, I'm playing this as a one-player right now. Uh, but you can go through, and it's cool, too, because like, if you die, and you're just like, ah, I don't want to be this guy. Like, I chose the bard. Why not? But it's like, eh, I'm not doing too well as this guy. So when you do die, you can <laughs> hit the insert coin button and uh, play as anyone else, literally anyone else. Uh, this particular instance, I chose the ninja, who throws shruikens. And I'm okay with this guy. I'll be, I'll be the ninja for a while. You want to check out Gate of Doom sometime if you like this style of game? I'd recommend it. I like I like games like this. And it's cool because it's an old arcade game that I've never played before. So I'm actually experiencing this for the first time. I like the big old bosses too. I, I miss boss battles like this from the arcade. Now watch out for that tail. It'll poison you if you get too close. Check out Gate of Doom, would you? 
now available on the Nintendo Switch. And along with that comes Sly Spy, also called Secret Agent. I think it's also called something like Secret Agent Sly Spy, and <laughs> depending on what your region is. Um, but this is another game that I remember seeing in the arcade. I never quite played it. This is, however, on the Wii's... Uh, what is that collection called? The Data East Arcade Classics for the Wii, which is like a super expensive game now. So um, this one is one of the highlights of that disc. So now you can just play this without having the other games on there. So that makes it all right. For this one, I'll go with the uh, this style of monitor. So, all right, full disclosure, I don't need to tell you. It's a straight up James Bond ripoff. I mean, come on, seriously. This is an American James Bond. <laughs> you even have to choose your agent name at the beginning of the game. You can be 007. I'm choosing uh, Agent 777 just because. Um, and it's a uh, running gun style. If you dig games like Rolling Thunder, for instance, uh, then you'll really like this one. And then I had a lot of fun with this one, too. I like it because there's different styles of gameplay throughout the game. So you have this style first. And then later on, there is an underwater level where you're swimming underwater. You saw the skydiving part earlier in the game. And then the next level after this is a motorcycle level where you're <laughs> driving a motorcycle. And yes, you can jump as the motorcycle. Of course you can, because you are Sly Spy. You are Agent 777 or whatever you choose your agent number to be as. Make sure you check out Sly Spy, Johnny Turbo's Arcade. <laughs> Up next is a game that you've probably heard of, Saturday Morning RPG. It was available for the PlayStation 4, and in fact, Saturday Morning RPG was the first ever PlayStation 4 limited run games game, as um, as it's part of the crew that started limited run games made this game. It is a it is 80s inspired turn based RPG, but it has a, a special feature in it. Now you, you can scratch these and uh, earn some bonuses uh, for this battle, particularly. Uh, but with this game, it's not just like, you know, you hit me, then I hit you. And then you are bored waiting for the, your next turn. There's actually a little bit of element. Like if you hit the button just at the right time, it'll increase your defense. At least it is here. Holy moly, do I get a chance to go? There we go. Well, I hit the button way too quickly. Uh, however, with your power-ups along the way, or when you attack them, uh, it gives you a little meter. And if you hit the button at the right time, again, totally messed that one up too, then you will have a chance to um, inflict more damage as you do. All right, give me something. There we go. Oh, hit the button. Nope, wrong button. There we go. There we go. There we go. Okay. So, <laughs> you see what I'm talking about? So, turn-based RPG, 80s inspired. So, you're going to get... Oh, that was a giant cookie. And I just like the way this game looks. I just like the way that it's, like, pixel-based, but then even tells you how well you did in your battle, so you can maybe do better next time. I just like how the game looks when you're walking around, too, because it looks like that, but then you're still kind of pixel-based. <laughs> and I'm okay with that. So Saturday Morning RPG, you missed out on a PlayStation 4. You can now get it on the Nintendo Switch and coming soon physically for the Nintendo Switch in the very near future from, of course, Limited Run Games. But if you can't wait, you can always download it right now. That's what I did. I couldn't wait. So I downloaded it right now. And then I'll buy the physical version and I'll leave it sealed because I have a video game collection problem. And finally on the list, we got to talk about it. I was just putting it back when the video started, was Human Fall Flat. And again, if you want your copy of Human Fall Flat physical, you can uh, check out a link in the description below for your chance to win. It's still available as of uh, at least the filming of this anyway for another week. Uh, this game has very crazy mechanics where depending on where you're looking, your trigger buttons act as your grip buttons. And that's how you manipulate these puzzles. And you can hold on to just about anything as you can see. I'm just having fun with this right now. Put my arm from behind my back. Put myself in a hammer lock. There we go. You can, um, yeah, you can, if you want to, you can go underneath the level. You're not really supposed to, but, you know, I'm just having fun anyway. And if you fall down, it's no big deal. You'll fall flat. Perfect landing, of course. Right there. The puzzles, too, where you just, you just, you know, I'll push this thing out of the way, go through the door. I can do that. Ta-da! <laughs> I, uh, you walk in this game as if I just woke out of bed. It has very, very interesting... I mean, the game itself is all about the gameplay mechanics. Now, if this played like any other 3D platformer, it would be as it was. However, this game makes it that little bit extra unique by its unique gameplay. And that's why you should maybe check out Human Fall Flat. And that makes up 10 great, pretty good games 
that you can check out for the Nintendo Switch right now. Many of them people aren't talking about at all, so I wanted to show them some love, no doubt indeed. If you like Nintendo Switch stuff, make sure you're subscribed for more videos in the near future. And again, Human Fall Flat, physical copy up for grabs for free. You can enter to win right now. Link in the description below. Thank you so much for watching. Till next video, take care. And again, perfect landing. Look at that. We will see you later.